Hello, welcome to another wonderful session with the Wax Channel, the arena of possibilities where we give you the best and finest education through engineering, modern technology, and entertainment. In this tutorial, we are continuing how to use the sketch tools in SolidWorks to do drawings and models. Also, we are also going to go again through how to choose or select dimension units. So specifically in the sketch tools, today we are concentrating on the circle tool, the spline tool, rectangle tool and the arc tool. Very interesting. It is our objective that everybody under the influence of this telecast should be able to use these tools flexibly after this video. Please subscribe, like and share so that you don't miss any of the videos. Let us begin. Introduction to SOLIDWORKS Part 4 Well, very well. In, an, in our earlier tutorial, we learned how to use the line tool. There is one more interesting thing about the line tool before we move to the other tools. First of all, let me delete all this I've done because I believe everybody cannot use the line tool to model anything at all. Please take note because at the end of every tutorial, will be having wonderful exercises and I'm expecting everybody to use these same tools to produce wonderful drawings. Okay? So I highlight everything and I press delete. Remember, this has not closed my sketch. In order to close your sketch, you have to close it from this tab, from this end. Yes. So I go back to my line command. The center line can equally do this same thing. So I click on line and I move. Okay, this uh, perfect horizontal line, perfect vertical line. This. Now I want to join this line and the next line I'm coming to draw with a curve or an arc. Though we have an arc tool, the line tool can equally make an arc for you, automatic arc. As we can see, it is still a line, like this, like that. Immediately you move away from the end point and you come back to it, it now changes into an arc. How wonderful the line tool can be. If this is not the type of arc you want, in fact you can turn it into any direction. If this is not the type, just go back to the origin again without clicking. Without clicking, just move back there and do it again. So it can give you various arcs and in the direction of your arc. Now immediately you activate that, it turns back to straight line. So I can go back, come back again, and I have a curve. Then I close my sketch, and this is a perfect model that can be used um, in a 3D sketch. Alright, now we can still apply smart dimension to all this like we said earlier, including this axe we've drawn using the line to smart dimension. As you can see, all these are applicable already. Now look at the arc. Smart dimension is still on, and this is what we have. A radius of 74.49 millimeters. I can make it um, 80 mm, 80, um, 80 millimeters radius, and this is what I have. We have another radius here that is um, 104 millimeters. Let's make it 100 millimeters. So solid work works in various formats using some of these sketch tools. Select tool, I highlight everything, and I delete. Now let's move to the circle. This is a circle tool. You can click on it directly to activate circle. Or look, let's look at the drop down. We have circle and perimeter circle. Let's look at how the circle works. When I click on circle, I can just go and stand anywhere. Click 
and drag and I have my circle this is what we have all right this SolidWorks smart dimension can equally give you the right dimension for this circle you've drawn by right clicking on the smart dimension tool and then clicking on the circumference of your circle and it will give you the diameter so this is specified by diameter and not radius so I click on it and I can change it to 100 millimeters that is my um, yes so that is my circle this is a perfect 2d drawing that can be sent into 3d model in our next videos we look at all this okay let's look at the perimeter circle when you click on a perimeter circle it gives you the chance to model a circle in three ways in three points so i click here I click the next point and then the third point it is still a perfect circle but it gives you the chance to model a circle from three points which can equally be dimensioned as well as you can see from here so this is the circle tool okay. select we, we are all clear with this and so move to the next tool I highlight all and I delete Let's go to the spline tool, which also has its own um, splines. Um, okay, so we have a spline, we have the star spline, an equation driven spline. So, spline, as we all know, is just an equation curve, more like a graphical curve. We also have this in SolidWorks as well. So, we have the normal spline. When you click on spline, it gives the first a straight line when you click again it will now be behaving more in curvy natures the more you click the more it changes remember your subsequent curves affect the beginning curves like that so i'm using the spline to draw curvy lines and this is what we have all this can be dimensioned for you to make it end it's either you click on the select tool or you click you 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 type on your escape key on your keyboard or you just close the sketch and the spline has ended we can equally smart dimension this spline and get the length of it in total okay select delete let's look at the next tool that is the rectangle tool we have corner rectangle, center rectangle, three point corner rectangle, three point center rectangle, and a parallelogram. Right. Let's go to corner rectangle and see how it works. When I click on corner rectangle, I can start from any point, but it draws or it gives you a rectangle from one of the corners of the rectangle. Or one of the points of the rectangle so I just click on it and I move and this is what you see so it is being moved using the point or the corner as the reference point to stretch it once I click on it it ends and I have my rectangle I can dimension it individually this zoom okay so I can dimension it individually by clicking on smart dimension click on this and dimension click on this and dimension select escape okay so let's not delete this now let's go and look at how the center rectangle works click on this and I go to center rectangle what it does is it draws the same rectangle for you but this time around it is starting from the center thereby showing you the lines of symmetry Okay, so I click on it and I move and this is what you see so it just indicates or tells you where the center of your rectangle is that is the main difference however you can still create dimensions for them and um, yeah this is what we have okay the next two under rectangle we have three point rectangle 
from corner so one two three then I have my rectangle also can be dimensioned then we have the same three point rectangle but from center so we have you click one two three and that still gives you a rectangle but with lines of symmetry the last one is the parallelogram so when I click on a parallelogram I have one two as you can see it is creating the kind of rectangle in which two lines will never meet two opposite lines never meet that's a parallelogram yeah this is what we have with this I can now say that we can all use the line to the circle to the spline and the rectangle to um, okay now let's look at how to use axe axe so I select highlight everything and delete axe so we have types of arc we have the center point arc the tangent arc and a three point arc if I have let's say two lines I want to connect the two of them with an arc so let's draw a line click on line draw a line like this and a line like this yeah so I want to connect this with an arc in our earlier video we said the line command can still be on you can click here move come back again and move and it will create an arc for you if this is not the kind of arc you want you just go back and to make it this way rather for you let's look at how three point arc works when you click on it just click on the first point so one second point two the third point is the real arc where you want the arc to actually end whether it should go up top or side however you want it so you click on the third one and you can equally dimension all this dimensioning angles we said you click on the two lines with your smart dimension command on and it creates the angle for you I give you 60 degrees I have this okay so I click on this now to check the radius of my arc in our next videos we will look at how to use the ellipse tool, the slot tool, the polygon, fillet or chamfer, text, and then point. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share this video for more updated and wonderful tutorials on SolidWorks.